नाउ लेट सी दिस एग्जाम्पल डिजाइन ए मोर मिशन दैट काउंट्स अकरेंसेस ऑफ द सबस्टिंग बी ए बी लेट वी हैव ए मेन स्टिंग लाइक दिस ए बी ए बी 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 ए बी सो नाउ वी हैव टू काउंट अकरेंसेस ऑफ द सबस्टिंग बी ए बी इन द मेन स्टिंग If the substring B A B is present in the main string, then the count is one. So if you see here, here we have B A B. So the output here is one. If you see here, here we have B A B. So the output is one. Otherwise the output is zero. So one plus one means two. So we can say that the substring B A B is present in the main string twice. now we have to design more mission for this so first write the input alphabet and output alphabet input alphabet sigma equal to it mainly contains two symbols they are a and b output alphabet triangle equal to here the output is either 0 or 1 1 means the substring bab is present in the main string otherwise the output is 0 Zero comma one. So here the substring size is three. So total number of states required are three plus one. That is equal to four states are required. The initial state is Q naught. Next Q one, Q two. Yeah, let us write bigger bigger states. Q naught. Q one, Q two, Q three. So Q naught, Q one, Q two, Q three. This is Bohr mission. Bohr mission means the output depends only on the present state. Okay, so we need to write the output inside the state. So here, what is the substring B A B? So B ये बी दिस इज मोर मिशन इन मोर मिशन और मिले मिशन वी डोंट हैव एनी फाइनल स्टेट इफ द सबस्टिंग बी ए बी इज प्रेजेंट देन द आउटपुट इज वन आउटपुट इज वन अदरवाइज द आउटपुट इज जीरो इफ द सबस्टिंग बी ए बी इज प्रेजेंट इन द मेन स्टिंग देन द आउटपुट इज वन अदरवाइज द आउटपुट इज जीरो नाउ वी हैव टू मेक This more mission as DFA. DFA means on each state we have to apply all the symbols present in the input alphabet. So we need to apply A and B on all the states. On Q not only B is applied. Now apply A. Before this B A B we can have any number of A's, including zero number of A's. So we can apply the self loop next on q1 a is applied now we have to apply b can we make a self loop like this yes b a b b a b it will be accepted next on q2 we have to apply a here can we apply a self loop like this no why because there if we apply like this a a b will also Yeah, accepted. That means A A B output will also will become one. But here the substring is B A B, so self loop is not possible. So we have to do the back tracking. Can we back track to Q one? Yes. B A B B A B B A B is the substring. Yes, we can back track. Next, we have to apply A and B on Q three. On applying B, we can backtrack to Q one. Why? Because B A B that is the substring. On applying A, can we backtrack to Q two? No. Why? Because it will become A B. A B is not the substring. Can we backtrack to Q one? No. 
AAB. AAB is not the substring. So we have to backtrack to Q0. A after this A, we may have BAB. Now let us take that example and count the number of occurrences. A, B, A, B, 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 A, B. So Q0 is the initial state. Q0 on A goes to Q0 only. What is the output of Q0? 0. Q0 on applying B goes to Q1. Output of Q1 is 0. Q1 on applying A goes to Q2. Output of Q2 is 0. Next. Q2 on applying B goes to Q3. What is the output of Q3? 1. Here we have the substring BAB. So that's why we got output as 1. Next. Q3. We are at Q3. Q3 on applying B goes to backtrack. Q1. What is the output of Q1? 0. Next. Q1 on applying B will stay at Q1 only. Output of Q1 is 0. Q1 on applying A goes to Q2. Output of Q2 is 0. Q2 on applying B goes to Q3. Output of Q3 is 1. So we can say that substring BAB is present. So like this, so, so here BAB is present 1 plus 1, twice. So like this we can solve the problem very very easily. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.